performances in the newspaper every day. One cable news show, 11 years and counting. The O'Reilly Factor. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Laura Ingram in tonight for Bill O'Reilly. And in the unresolved problem segment tonight, a huge reaction to a segment we did last night on The Factor about frustration in some parts of the African-American community with President Obama. As we mentioned, the black unemployment rate in the United States is now at about 16 percent, which is a lot higher than the overall unemployment rate, which is about 9 percent. We spoke with Florida Republican Congressman Alan West, who leveled some very serious charges against the entire Democratic Party. You have this 21st century plantation that has been out there where the Democrat Party has forever taken the black vote for granted. And you have established certain black leaders who are nothing more than the overseers of that plantation. And now the people on that plantation are upset because they've been uh, disregarded, disrespected, and their concerns are not cared about. Look at the devastation in the black communities. You look at what has happened to the inner cities of, uh, let's say, Chicago or Detroit. With us now to respond, New York Democratic Congressman Charlie Rangel, a longtime member of the Congressional Black Caucus. Uh, Congressman, it's great to see you. I know you watched last night. Uh, you have some thoughts. What are they? I'm really surprised that Congressman West, uh, in, in going back to Harriet Tubman, who was a historic figure during slavery time, and, and I know he's new and he's a freshman, and the more TV you get before an election is very important. But... He doesn't come from a political party that can ridicule plantations and that type of thing. I really think at this time, with the unemployment that you recently shown, it's not just blacks, even though we doubled the national average, but it's every American, and they're fed up with us down in Washington fighting each other. All we have to do is come together on job creation, then we can go on and okay, fight. Well, There's plenty so, of things so, to fight about. Right. Well, there certainly are. And so you're saying that Congressman West, as an African-American, cannot use a plantation analogy. He's not allowed to use that. I'm trying to figure no. out what words we can yes, use it, look, and what words we can't use. I'm very what confused about What do you mean we this. can? Are you, you, you're confused about whether or not you can use plantations no, he, with he, a black he Republican? Believes, and, and the substance of what he says, is, I think, is very clear. Others, such as Walter Williams, Tom Sowell, I guess they're not authentically black either, so they can't actually say that. They've also made similar analogies. They've said let basically... No, no, let me finish. Finish, sir. Okay. What they've said is that basically the war on poverty might have been started with a great uh, deal of good intentions, has been an utter failure for many minority communities in the United States. In the inner city and the school systems, we've seen increasing problems, both within the family, within unemployment, across the board problems. Has the war on poverty been a success in your mind? Now, this is something entirely different from no, what you just asked. No, it's actually Laura, all tied you, together. You, just, you were talking about Harriet Tubman and plantations. It's a and, criticism. And ask, it's a substantive criticism, I don't criticism, care what sir. he says. If you want to deal with the fact that something yeah. worked, then you're 100% right. We can talk about unemployment. We can Has talk about... Wait, but no, but is why do you think... Is liberalism working for the black community right now? I swear, I wish I knew. You got a whole lot of different things. If you want to talk about the empowerment zone, which I pass, and we have them well, all over the United States, that has worked. Question. You won't ask, answer the question. No, no, the liberalism and conservative... Brought, well, brought about a number of larger government programs that promised empowerment to the inner city, poor people, minorities. Did it work? It's, a, it's an objective question. Listen, Did it I, work? I, I, listen, you find this Republican wants to talk about plantations and no, I think he's making a point. I know he is. And now you want to make the point about Lyndon Johnson, the war against poverty. Now, it's, and it's, we are going through a period today of high unemployment. What has liberalism why, done for you lately? What has, I, what, what has President Obama done for the black community in two and a half years? I think that's a very serious question. I think it's an important question. But you has haven't asked it. You that's the no, a half a dozen questions. You seem to want to quarrel with the wording of questions instead of get to the substance of the questions. And I'm really delighted you came on. Listen, I, I I'm think glad I came too. Here. So let's, but, let's start over. Let's try to start over. Okay. Uh, now Colonel, forget Colonel, all the Tubman plantation Colonel and Allen, all of Colonel that. Colonel Allen West was making a very provocative point indeed. A lot of people have used a lot of colorful language over the years on the left and the right. I yes. think both have. Yes. Maxine Waters is, is clearly very frustrated right now with the president. She let loose on him yesterday saying, look, he's not coming into any black communities. She's coming at it from her perspective. Allen West is coming at it from his. I would ask you, has the president's economic plans 
Have they panned out for minority communities especially? Heck no, because the Republicans made up their mind as soon as he got elected. Okay. Oh, no, but, oh. Okay, go ahead. You know, uh, I thank you so much. You know, your questions really sound like little mini speeches. Well, I know, Congress, but maybe, having, you don't, maybe you don't get real questions from real people. I don't well, know. These I know are actually real, real questions. This is your show. This what, congressman. What about had, real answers? You had a Democratic House, a filibuster-proof Senate, and the White House and Democratic hands, okay? You had that for the first two years. Can't blame Republicans for those two years, or can you? We can say what the man inherited if you would permit those you know me years, to say it. It was two years you guys were fully in charge, no Republican House. We had a deficit. Did it work that, out? We had a deficit. We had had two wars that we shouldn't okay, have been in. Okay, fault. Let me say this, that Bill O'Reilly told me he had a secret weapon. I didn't know it was just a pretty girl that he would bring here. Well, that's very think, condescending, sir. Well, very I'm just saying. A pretty girl. These are serious questions. There's an issue. You have asked me 50 on. questions, and right. I'm begging you. I'm begging okay, let's you. Say, let's hear an answer. I'm You're begging, not answering any I'm of the questions. I'm begging you to leave all the plantation stuff and this we out of it. Beyond the leave plantation. out, leave out uh, Johnson and the poverty yeah, program. Yeah, because that's actually a serious question. And, and just ask me one question at a time. I've asked, I've asked four questions. The last you question answered. you had, there were two. Did that it we work? had a Democratic president who inherited a, a heck of a deficit. Okay. And he inherited a couple of wars. Mm -hmm. And then after we lost the majority in the House, I think it's safe to say that the Republicans took the position that their primary objective was not to work with him, but to get rid of Obama. And so even while we wait now, the president's on vacation, and we're waiting for this job program, we have a half Should a dozen bills. Should the president bill. be on the vacation? We have a half a dozen bills that we had brought out. You guys hadn't passed a budget, sir, in what was it, 600, 700, or 800 days when the Democrats had the opportunity I'd, to pass a budget. I want to let you know one thing. People in America who are unemployed aren't thinking about your budget. They're thinking no, no, about getting I'm not a in job. Congress, actually. You're in Congress. I said people who are out of work, they lost their homes, that lost Maybe their jobs. And, and they did this guys... on the Republican they did this on a Republican you, thing. The Congressman. I mean, this it, is it, what it, happened. This is what we inherited. At some point, does the buck stop at the White House? It does, but we we can't say that we didn't inherit a lousy economy, so, high unemployment. A high deficit. So why was he elected? He he was elected because he had ideas, right? And he you sold those ideas life. to the public. And, and then you lost in the midterms. Like, <laughs> it happens. But people are up. People are down. No there doubt There was about an it. assumption that Republicans would put the country above their politics. It was clear, and the polls see it clearly, that Republicans would have rather this country go down and default on its international They're obligations. You're questioning their patriotism now? I am questioning the fact that they were prepared to allow the country to go, and they admit this, and they were on television Who's saying they? it. Who's they had a candidate that are running against Obama. The Congre Congress actually, uh, did you the see? End, did the you see? ceiling was raised, and the president signed the bill, sir. Did you see any of the 10 candidates? They asked them. What are talking about you, the candidates? Uh, you, you will not answer a simple question. Has Obama worked for the inner city? No, good. nobody. That's a great had. answer. And that, the, that is a, and that the, is a truthful and, and answer. And the country has it worked for the country either. And it's not just yep. the inner cities. We got white people, middle class people that dreams have been shattered. I agree. And I I'm agree not with you. talking about I the Bush administration or the Obama administration. Yep. No one cares which administration it was. America is made of yeah. people who dream and have hope that they could yeah. have a better life. Right. That was snatched from them, oh, and the Obama has not restored that hope okay. that was taken from them by right, George you, Bush. Oh, you mean I it's, have to quit. I wish we had the whole hour. I, I, I wish, wish we, we do. I welcome, I I welcome we coming back, this, this and I'm and sorry I hour. said that you were attractive. I withdraw sorry, that I, completely. I, like your, I, wasn't, I was going to make a joke about the condo in the Dominican Republic, and I didn't make it out of due respect for you, so I appreciate your joining <laughs> He should, he should have taken your condo instead of gone to Martha's Vineyard. In the a moment, condo a actually wasn't worth that the much money. The members of Congress it was better than Martha's Vineyard. Yeah. We're going to name names, even though they wish we wouldn't. What a fun segment! Next.